Well, hello, third grade. And I'm wondering if you've ever gotten to the point when you were reading and you got to a word that you just didn't know. And you need to figure out what this word is because it seems important, but you're just not entirely sure what to do. Well, I'm here to help you with that. These are something called fix-up strategies. And a fix-up strategy is just a word that you get stuck on and you figure out how to fix it. All right? You're, you're reading and it, you don't really know what's going on, and so you try and fix it. I'm going to read this part of the story to you. This is from yesterday about the volcanoes. And I'm going to help you figure out what this word exposed means. When I got to the cliff edge, I could hardly believe my eyes. Pounding waves had wrenched off a huge piece of the cliff. Then lava tube and the entire river of orange lava was exposed as it poured into the ocean. But it wouldn't be visible for long. The cold seawater might seal the tube in minutes. And we had the word exposed there. And this is the time when she's grabbing the edge of the cliff. And right below here is all of the lava and all of the um, hot rock that she saw before. What does exposed mean? The lava tube and the entire river of orange lava was exposed as it poured into the ocean. But it wouldn't be visible for long. Hmm. I can break it into parts. And I can understand that X and posed, hmm, I could tell that X usually means it's coming out of something like that. And here's another thing that I can do. I'm just going to take this thing here. I also can read on and figure out what that means from there. Oh, it wouldn't be visible for long. Well, that tells me that right now it is visible. So maybe exposed is a piece of rock or anything that all of a sudden becomes visible but won't be before and won't be for long. Um, your job is going to be kind of trying to figure out some of these things. You can, right here, whenever you get stuck, you can use the illustrations. You can use phonics, and that means trying to figure out parts of the word. You could read on, or you could break it into parts. Okay? The word tourniquet is also from the story. She, I'm going to read this part here. She could see the cut in her leg. She quickly tied off a piece of her t-shirt and tied it around to make a little tourniquet to stop the blood flow. Hmm. I'm realizing now that as I read on, it tells me what a tourniquet is. A tourniquet is when you tie something around your leg to stop the blood. So I was able to read on and figure out what that means. What you all have to do now, I guess I can't find the thing I need. Hmm. Oh well. What you all have to do now is try and figure out what the next couple of these words mean. All right. The word embedded and the word loomed. Here is the text that you're going to use. The doctors cleaned my cut as well as they could, but pieces of the volcano glass were still embedded in my leg. What does embedded mean? Or here, I escaped, or did I? The pink cloud of smoke now loomed in front of me. It was tossing lava right at me. Today and your... Um, packet work, you're going to try and use um, your fix-up strategies to figure out what those words mean, which one worked. And finally, before we go, today is Wednesday, so we are going to talk about our vocabulary. Yay! The first vocabulary word we have is going to be surface. The surface of the top layer of something, such as the top layer of Earth. The top layer is the surface. Volcano, one of the things we studied. An opening in the Earth's crust through which rock, steam, and ashes reach the surface. Anticipate. When you anticipate something, you look forward to it, like a first day of the party. It's something that you, it's a feeling you have before something exciting. Realize, when you understand something you've seen, heard, you realize it. It's when you just understand it. And favorite, something you like the most. Bye, everybody.